Hello and welcome to the brand new series of creating different text effects in Adobe Illustrator where I'm going to share my experience and learning as I went along to create them. So in this series from episode 57 onwards, I'm going to showcase not one, not two, but in total 20 different text effects in this playlist that I will create till episode 76. So stick around as I begin to showcase the first text effect in this video. So I'm gonna start off with the very simple steps. Let's first add a text. And the word that I'm going to write is flare, F-L-A-R-E. -E. And since this is going to be a whole series of 20 different text effects, it's pretty obvious every single video is going to start off with adding the text. So here am I adding the first text. Now, obviously I'm going to choose a font now. The font that I've chosen is this one, Bailiwick JF Gothic. So I'm going to center align it. Now I'm going to set the color to none. But before I do that, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add two rectangles. And the reason that I'm doing this is that I want to create two gradients out of uh, one of my favorite colors that's orange because of its lively nature. And here, as you can see, I have first added a gradient to the box on the left side. And now I'm going to change its color to FF6F00. That's the first color. I'm going to pull this black color to the left and bring it closer like this here. And now I'm going to give it the same color so that we arrive on the same hue. And then I'm going to make it a bit darker. So it's the same one, FF6, F00. And as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm choosing a bit of the darker shade of this color since I want to create a gradient. So I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to hold this one on the left, this circle, the lighter shade, press Alt and drag it. So that will allow me to copy it. Now I'll do the same for the dark color and I'll go on alternating them. So I'm holding the color, pressing the Alt and dragging it along to get the gradient as you can see. So there we go. We have the first one ready. So I'm going to do the same with the next text box. But the difference is going to be is that the color orange is going to be even darker. So I'm going to remove all these colors and I'm just going to leave them with just two shades. So let's just remove them one by one by selecting them and then deleting them. So I've kept a light one and a dark one as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I've alternated, pushed the dark one to the light side and light to the darker side. And now, as you can see, it's already a dark shade. I have copied the color from here. I'm pressing Control C and copying this hex code. Press OK, bring it here. Open this lighter one, paste the value here and choose an even darker color. So now I'll just do the same as I did earlier. I'll press Alt and drag the color shades, alternating them. And as a result, you can see I have a darker gradient ready with me. All right, nicely balanced. OK, that's it. So we have the two gradients ready, as you can see. So I'm going to save them. For that, I'll go to Swatches and add the plus tab here and add the name Light Orange Gradient. I'll press OK. Again, press the plus tab and then I'm going to write it dark orange gradient and press OK. And as you may see on the screen on the right side here, I have the two gradients, the light orange and the dark orange ready for me. So I'll just quickly remove them, select the text. First of all, set the fill to none here and we'll go into the appearance panel. As you may see, it's usually here on the left side here in the smaller icons, but I have opened it on the right. And if you can't see, just go to windows from the drop down and it will be here for you. So let's just do this now. In the appearance panel, it's all about hierarchy. Whichever color you see here on the top will appear on the top. So I'll choose the light orange color for this. So this will be right on the top. Let me just adjust size a little bit. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to add another color and this time around it's not a fill, it's a stroke. And I'm going to increase its weight to around five points. 
and choose the color to white it has appeared on the left so i'll press white and then i'll increase its weight to eight points add another stroke as you may see uh, there was a stroke that was already there by default i forgot to use that and so now i have applied the dark stroke to this stroke that is above the white and as you may see as i'm increasing the value to 20 points it shows up as a nice highlight now the stroke that is right on the top the white one that i forgot to use i'll delete it later on so right now we are going to use these three strokes but i'll rearrange the order i'll push the darkest outline to the bottom layer i'll push the white one in the middle and this one orange one right on the top so i'm going to add a transform to the darkest outline and i'll give it two pixel values on the y and i will give it around 20 copies and increase a little bit a bit too much i'll keep it to 25 now this is fine with me i'll press ok i will again while selecting the stroke as i as you can see i've added the transform here while selecting the stroke i'll add another fx and this time around i'll go into path and offset path and i'll turn the joints to round and set the offset value at around 8 pixel this gives us a nice rounded gummy kind of a feeling let's add another third effect in this time around i'm going to add a drop shadow so i played around with the values for quite some time and then i finally decided that i'll choose the values as you may see here on the screen i forgot to select it so i'll reselect it as you might have noticed it didn't apply so i forgot to select the text now i will do it again i'll go into the fx into stylize and from there into drop shadow and now you can see the drop shadow is visible so i reduced the blur and kind of tested what should be nice one pixel blur two pixel blur and i chose to keep it on multiply and i think this is what i was looking for i'll keep it to 25 increase a bit this is what i finally decided a bit of a drop shadow now let's move on to the layer on the top here i realize i don't need this layer since i have just three colors so i'll delete it by pushing it down here so as you can see now there was a bit of a change in the text effect so i'm going to increase the white color and make it to around 15 pixels and choose the orange layer on the top and add a small drop shadow a very small I will choose as you can see the Y offset I'm going to bring it down to 2 the blur is too fine everything is fine so there we have it the design is almost ready now I need to add a background the size of my artboard is 1920 by 1080 p I'll press ok and I'll center align it change the you know colors light shade and bring it to the center simply center align it and then and after testing a lot of things i decided that i want to give it a circular gradient with a very light tone of bluish ocean kind of a turquoise color so that the orange color really comes out on the top and this is the gradient circular gradient that i applied on the bottom i adjusted it a bit and with that our effect is pretty much ready hope you enjoyed watching this video this was the first text effect that i have applied and there are going to be 19 more waiting up for you so please stay tuned subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and do not forget to press the notification button thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video